Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you and hope you're okay today. We're looking at the question, how do we know which religion is right? I think the answer to that is we test the particular religion on two fronts. One is presuppositions, the other is evidence. We ask the question, does the religious presuppositions, do those presuppositions match reality? So for example, um, the presupposition that the Quran is the Bible, is the Word of God. Does that match reality? We look at the Uthman uh, where he burns the Quran uh, right at the beginning of Islam in the Bukhari Hadith, uh, which shows you that the Quran had changed because the manuscript evidence had been burnt. Um, so we test the Quranic presupposition that the Quran is the Word of God and it fails the test. We look at the evidence of Islam. For example, uh, we investigate some of the historical claims of Islam that, that you to turn to Mecca to pray to, to Petra, not, not Mecca. So the archaeological evidence goes against Islam. We look at the uh, Book of Mormon that said that a tribe left Jerusalem and get, went to um, went to um, to America. We find no historical evidence, so the claim is false. We look at Christianity and we look at the historical claims there, and we find that. It's true there are over 40 or 50 uh, historical facts in the Gospel of John that have been verified. There are 84 historical facts that have been verified in the Book of Acts. The historical facts about Jesus are verified. He says in 1 Corinthians 15, he says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the Gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein you stand, by which also are you saved, if you unto you unless you have believed in vain for I delivered unto you first of all which I received how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures and that he was seen of Cephas and then of the twelve and after that he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once of whom the greater part remain unto the present but some have fallen asleep that he was seen of James and all the apostles and also one one are born out of due time, which was Paul. So there it's saying that there were eyewitnesses to Jesus' resurrection, and, and scholarship will verify the basic facts of Jesus' life and death, and even resurrection, even though they don't believe in a resurrection, it said the early church taught a resurrection. So we look at the historical facts of Christianity are verified, we look at the presuppositions, the Bible, is it the Word of God, how can we show that to be the case? Well, the Bible uh, the Roman Empire, the Greek Empire, the Persian Empire were all prophesied in the book of Daniel and came true. So those are some of the reasons, but above all we know that Christianity is true as we look at Christ, he was unique. He said, I am the way, the truth and the life, no one can come to the Father but through me. We look at Christ and no one in history was like him. He stood out in history like nobody else. He was unique. And it's because of Jesus Christ that we know that he is the way, the truth, and the life. I would encourage you to read the Gospel of John and find out for yourself.